hey guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will see how you can create a movie and tv series streaming website from scratch without writing a single line of code by the end of this video our site will have all the essential features like a subscription system user signups notification system and all other features before we get into it, make sure to hit that subscribe button as this kind of video takes a lot of time and effort so I would really appreciate if you can support me as well. With that being said, let's see how we can create our movie streaming website. So in order to create the site we have to have a domain hosting and the script. I am going to use Namecheap for domain and hosting. For the script you can click the link in the description and purchase this code. Once you purchase the code now let's purchase the domain and hosting. Click on shared hosting. Scroll down and select any of these plans. Let's enter our domain. Click on connect to hosting. Let's add it to the cart. Always search for promo codes in the Google so that we could get a little bit of discount. We need to create the account first to apply the promo code so let's click on create a free account. Enter all the details. Once it's done click on create account and continue. Let's confirm the order. Quickly fill in these details. Now let's make the payment. Click on continue. Now check the terms and conditions and click on pay now. That said, we've successfully purchased our domain and hosting. Let's go to the dashboard. Click on Go to C panel. Now after extracting the script that we purchased earlier, you can change the default images with your own and it's not that important to change it now as you can change it from the admin panel later on. Open your C panel and click on the MySQL database wizard. Give any name you like. Also don't forget to copy and paste your database name and password to the text document as it will be required later. Use the generated password to set a strong password. Click on create user. Copy this name to your text document. 
select all and hit make changes after that click on return home now let's compress our script to a zip file This process can take a while so have some patience. Before uploading the zip file head over to domains. And as you can see here I have only one domain so my document wrote is public underscore html. If you have multiple domains then your document root might be different. Now go back to the dashboard and click on file manager. Go to public underscore html which is our document root. Click on upload and upload the zip file. Now let's go back to our directory. Right click and extract the files in this directory. Let's delete this zip file as we no longer need this file. Open the file and select all. Click on the settings and select home directory and check these boxes and save it. Select all, click on move and just remove the name. Go back and delete this folder. Now let's open our website. Make sure everything is ok and click next. Here type localhost. Paste the database details that we copied in our text document. These admin details are required to log into your admin panel. Now paste the purchase code. You can get your item purchase code from Code Canyon. Go back to your file manager and delete this install directory. This is our website. Just add slash admin in the URL and log in to your admin dashboard. From here we can make changes to our website. Now everything is pretty easy to edit as you can easily understand the use of different options but I'll try to cover the maximum features that are important to our site. Let's see some basic theme settings of our site. You can disable the preloader. You can also change the website theme or background image. It's pretty easy. Just play around with these options to match your liking. After that we have system settings. Let's give our site name. Paste the URL. Enter your email address. You can provide other details as well.
Once everything is done, just save the changes. Here are logo settings. You can upload your own logo. Make sure to use the recommended size. Here you can add your about and useful links so that they can be displayed in the footer. Here in SEO configuration you can give your titles, meta description and all that stuff that helps in ranking your site. Here in ads and banner you can either use your own custom ad or you can use AdSense ads. Just edit the section where you want to show the ads. We are skipping the mobile app settings as we are only focused on creating the website but if you want to create an android app also then let me know I'll be sure to create a video on that. You can also change the player settings. We have copyright and privacy policy settings. From here you can type your site's privacy policy. I am not going into details about every setting as these are pretty easy to edit but if you face any problems then let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to help you out. Also I forgot to tell you that this copyright text can be changed from the language settings. Edit this and here you can enter your text. Now for the most important part, let's see how we can add movies and TV series to our website. Let's go to the movie and video section. Here entering all these details can be time consuming which is why we are going to use the movie database. In the settings, you can find an option called TMDV settings. We have to enter the API key and for that let's go to the TMDB website. Just create an account by filling in the details. Verify your email. Once you log in, scroll down to the API section. Just click on this link. Here you can find a step by step guide to get the API key. Just follow these steps. Now fill in the required information and you'll get the API key. Once you get the key, just paste it here. Now here is the fun part. Search for any movies you want to add. Just to show you, I am choosing Avatar movie. From the URL, just copy this number. Click on fetch and you'll have all the details automatically filled up. Click on create. You can give any label and order. Also provide the source for the movie. Just to show you, I am using a YouTube video link but you can use Google Drive or any other embedded links. You can also provide the download link. 
I am using a YouTube link so I am giving the same link just to show you how to do that. After submitting the movie will be added to our website. You can also add TV series by using the same method. Click on add new TV series option, paste the code just like before and you can also set this as free or paid. After that click on create. Click on add seasons. Give the name and order. Click on manage episodes, add the video details like before. Now it is added to our website. Here is another option called a slider. If you enable this then you can see an animation something like this. Here is one option to offer a subscription to your users. You can also add your own package. In the payment settings you can provide your payment address like PayPal, Stripe or any other offline payment. You can also add a notification system to notify your user about new posts or to keep them up to date. For that go to notification settings. Now we need one signal ID in order to send notifications so open the one signal website. Click on add new app or website button. Give the name of your website. and select web provide your site name and URL now scroll down and click on save Click on finish and go to the keys and IDs tab. Copy and paste both the ID and API keys and check the enable option and hit save. Now as you can see here a pop-up dialog will appear where user can subscribe to our notifications. So this is how you can create your own movie streaming website. I know there are some settings that I skipped but I think I covered the essential parts. If you face any problems make sure to comment down and I'll try to help you and you can play around with different options and obviously the more time you spend on managing your website the better it will look. So that's it for this video. If you find this video helpful then make sure to drop a like, share it around and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos like this. And I'll catch you in the next one.